it's great to see you. So in this episode, we are talking all about sibling jealousy and how that can impact everything in day-to-day -day life, including a little one's ability to sleep well. So stick around because we're going to be covering some tips and tricks to help you to relieve some of that jealous feeling that can happen between siblings. You've got children who are a lot more harmonious um, in spending their time together. Okay, so the first thing I wanna say is that this can come up at any age. It can be something that happens right from birth when let's say a toddler has the arrival of a new baby sibling and they're like, huh, who's this that's getting all the attention? And that's really common, a really common time for it to happen. It can also crop up later on in childhood and especially with siblings who are relatively close in age because they're kind of competing for the same attentions. So be prepared that this is probably gonna come up at some point what can you do about it? So I have two really big ideas for you on this um, that I've found actually having two quite close in age myself, I've found these things really, really do work because quite often that sort of jealous behavior or almost like probing or lashing out or winding up the other one, it's actually really just a cry for your attention. And if they had your attention, they wouldn't be doing it. So <laughs> that's often what it really comes down to. What can you do? One-on-one -on -one time. Give your children your time one-on-one -on -one, at least once a day. Just find that special time that you can have where you can be fully present with them and completely indulge them in whatever it is they are doing and what they're about, tap into who they are. Now this doesn't matter whether they are a tiny little one, um, you know, a little toddler, um, or a five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 year old, it, it really doesn't matter, teenagers and beyond, doesn't matter what age they are. So what is it that you can discover about them? What can you ask them? How can you show a massive interest in who they are as a little human being and spend time on with them one-on-one. -on -one. Now maybe you have a baby who's napping and you can then spend that time with the toddler. And of course the baby's gonna get plenty of one-on-one -on -one time because they get all the cuddles and the feeding and all those other bits of one-on-one -on -one attention anyway. So quite often it's giving the extra focus on the older ones, the ones that's, you know, that's past the baby stage. If you have children who are both older, maybe they're you know, six and eight or something like that, then great spend one-on-one -on -one time with each of them. And this is a more as well, not instead, but especially at bedtime. Having bedtime, one-on-one um, -on -one time is so important. Quite often little ones keep everything in until bedtime and then they let it out. So when they become you know, of school age, uh, it could be bedtime when they reveal things to you. Worries, thoughts, or just sharing good things that happened. But quite often they do save it up to that, that time of night. So allow for that, allow time for that in the bedtime routine that you can have that little bit of chat one-on-one -on -one, and then say goodnight. So build that into your bedtime routine if you want to. Um, when they're little, babies and toddlers, then it's gonna probably be a story, a book, a bit of, you know, wind down, part of that routine. But if you can give that full focus to one child at a time, then they're gonna be less likely to feel that jealousy or envy of the other one. On the flip side, if you are um, you know, trying to read a story to this one and then you're, no, 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 and you know, don't do this, or wait over there, or uh, one second, I just need to get the baby. You know, if you're trying to juggle multiple children at once and one child feels a little bit dismissed because of that, that could lead to that envy. Oh, it's not fair. Oh, they get all the attention. They don't even necessarily compute that it's the other child getting the attention. They just have this almost subconscious resentment towards those interruptions that are coming their way. If you are on your own and you're thinking, that all sounds great, but how do I do that when I'm juggling more than one child by myself? Well, stick around because in the, uh, the episode after next, actually coming up very soon, we have an episode all about that and how to juggle more than one child through a bedtime routine, especially if you are doing it by yourself. It's totally possible. So we'll cover that in more detail very, very soon. But for now, just think about how you can build little little one-on-ones in. Any child can wait a few moments. It can be a baby safely in a cot whilst you're giving a toddler a few minutes of your time. It can be done. So find the ways that you can do it. 
And my other big idea for you is what activities can those siblings do together? So it's not just about the one-on-one -on -one time with you, but what can they do together to build that bond and to help them like each other <laughs> and to want to spend time together so that they're not seeing each other so much as a, a threat or an annoyance or someone that gets in the way, but actually as somebody they enjoy spending time with. So what activities age appropriately can they do? Uh, there will be something, there always is. So have a think about that um, and how they can bond and spend some time together. So I hope these ideas really help you and help you to focus on how your children can overcome any sibling jealousy. Stand by for the next episode where we're gonna talk all about twins and how to get twins and multiples sleeping really, really well. I'll catch you then, take care. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.